EFF leader Julius Malema is taking the party's election campaign to Tabazimbi in Limpopo province. It's where we find my colleague Pamani, Pamani Beloy. She's covering uh, the EFF president. Pamani, very good morning to you. What's happening where you are? <laughs> Good morning, Blaine, and good morning to our viewers. Yes, as you rightly stated, Blaine, we are at Tabazimbi, at the Rihorohile settlement just outside town, where EFF leader Julius Malima is in an hour from now expected to speak to community members to convince them to vote for his party. Where I'm standing, Blaine, is just a settlement where most of the houses are actually going up a mountain where residents say they just don't have access to land where they can live in and some are now uh, demarcating sites for themselves. Others say they're demarcated by the municipality on top of the mountain. But Blaine, there's a, a four-way stop very close to where I am where EFF uh, organizers are already here. Like they're playing very loud music trying to call people to come here for the for, so that by the time Julius Malima arrives in an hour's time or so, there are already people to listen to him. But Blaine, where I'm standing right now, I'm standing in front of uh, Mamulife's house behind me, which is one of the residents. She says she was born and bred in this area and she knows the issues that are affecting community members here. I'm going to bring her in now. Mamulife, uh, you were born and bred here. What are some of the issues that are affect in, in, in terms of service delivery that affect you as a resident that you hope will be resolved after this upcoming election? Uh, the uh, site of that he infect me is uh, service delivery in Tabazimbi. I have a big problem right inside my yard, uh, storage. Sometimes it takes that rubbish inside the house. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, one, one day I take that rubbish, I take it, I took it to the office. Then I say to them, you can take me to the court. Then they see that I can do something with them. I have a serious problem inside my house. Uh, service delivery is very poor. Storages, water, uh, electricity also. Job, uh, we're suffering with job. Uh, our generations, uh, they suffer more with job. Tawazimbi, we are inside the, the mine, but our people, they, they, uh, they don't work. We don't have work at Tabazimbi. And then... Uh, Mamulife, earlier you were telling me about corruption when it comes to employment opportunities. Can you please take us through what is happening here regarding that? Yes, they do corruption. They say... Uh, they sell uh, jobs. When you want a job, they say... Somebody say to you, from the mine, uh, they say, give if you can give me this amount, then I'll give you a job. How can you buy a job since, well, you don't have something, a bread to put on table to give the, the children to eat. But they say, give something, then we can give you a job. I'm talking about a serious problem that I have experienced in my house. That is Mamuli over there. Right now we are joined by her son, a younger person, just to speak about political education in this uh, vicinity to see if the people in this area understand. Say, uh, just explain to us, do you understand uh, the, what this election is for? Can you tell what is the difference between this local government election and the national government election? Yes, I understand. Uh, right now they want us to vote for them. They are busy, even the, the noise that is playing on the background. They, 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 they are on their cars, they want us to vote for them. But when we ask them to help us, the service delivery that they must provide to us, simple things, jobs, water, they, 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 they don't provide. Right now, where I'm staying, storage, it, it, every time, if it's a motiling, every time, a week cannot pass, so is a, is a, is a fit motelin. Sometimes it blows inside it inside the house. So we, we have to clean that uh, uh, that the dirty things with our with our with our hands. Service delivery in Tabazimbi is very poor. The water is it's it, it, it's dirty. Right now even the water it, it, we don't have the 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 the, 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 the water. 
thank you so much, sir. These are some of the views of the residents of uh, uh, Tabazimbi, where we expect EFF leader Julius Malima to come in a, few, in a little while to address them and uh, try to convince them to vote for his party. But for now, Blaine, I'll have to hand back to you. All right. Uh, I think it's important to get some context here, uh, Pimani. Tell us who controls this uh, area. Uh, tell us more about the state of play in the area that you are in. Blaine, after the 2016 local government election, uh, we saw a, a coalition government taking over the municipality from the ANC, where we saw the DA, the EFF, and a residents association called the Tabazimbi Residents Association taking over leadership of the municipality. Over the years, there's been squabbles between those three parties, and residents are saying they've been the ground where these elephants have been fighting, fighting on. They say you know this is a mining town the EFF is forever talking about a beneficiation ensuring that uh, 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 residents in mining areas benefit from mining activities but they're saying it looks like the EFF in council is more interested in politics in that council instead of ensuring that that is uh, resolved for them to benefit so right now uh, uh, Blaine what we're seeing is a coalition government that has had a lot of issues uh, in council that have uh, residents say have affect them and uh, affected them negatively. Blaine. Right, uh, Pimani Beloy, reporting there in Limpopo. Thank you very much indeed for bringing us the voices of the people. That's what it boils down to, isn't it? Hearing from what the people are are, are going through, pulling back that curtain window into the lives of people in the build up to the selections and what people who are in power can do in order to streamline their strategy to help those in need. Pamani Beloy there, good reporting. Uh, we will 